ओके सो एंड इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू दैट रोटेट योर कॉम्पास एंड देन ड्रॉ द सेम काइंड ऑफ और एट द बॉटम एरिया ऑफ दिस वर्टिकल लाइन व्हाट आई डू इट्स वेरी इजी I have measured one to one dash distance using my compass, and then my center is F. So from F, I have drawn one arc on the top area of one one dash vertical line. So without changing the center, I have rotated my compass and then drawn one arc at the bottom area of the same vertical line why i did this because the measurement is 1 1 dash so i want to use the same 1 1 dash vertical line similarly measure 2 2 dash come to f draw upward and downward arcs like that measure 3 3 dash come to f or at two areas then four four dash come to f draw the arc at the top and bottom next five five dash come to f draw upward and downward arcs then six six dash come to f upward downward arc Seven seven dash come to F upward downward arc eight eight dash come to F upward and downward arc nine nine dash come to F downward arc ten ten dash come to F upward downward or long long dash come to f upward downward arcs 12 to 12 dash come to f upward downward arcs 13 to 13 dash Come to F, upward, downward, arch, 14, 14 dash, come to F, sorry, 14 to 14 dash distance, the center is F, upward, downward, arch, 15 to 15 dash upward downward arc <coughs> 16 to 16 dash f is the center for downward arc 17 to 17 dash for and downward arc then 18 to 18 dash upward downward arc then 19 to 19 dash and downward arc then 20 to 20 dash and downward arc still I need to draw the remaining vertical lines because my curve is starting to increase and coming towards like this I think it will be ending here so I am just drawing some vertical lines because I need to complete the curve.
usually the ellipse start to diverge first and then it will converge. Ford symbol, Ford car symbol, this is an inside the ellipse. Okay. I have completed up to 20. So now I am using support that I am writing the points on the CG line 21 dash, 22 dash, 23 dash, 24 dash, 25 dash, 26 dash, and this will be 27 dash. I think it's enough up to 27. Okay. Next measure 21 to 21 dash and you know that your center will not change it is F only. So draw the arc on the top side as well as bottom side and next is 22 to 22 dash and your center is the same here. So upside arc and downside arc then 23 to 23 dash the f is the center arc 24 to 24 dash the f is the center arc then 25 to 25 dash then F is the center and your curve closes. After the 25th division, you will not be having any curve because it ends here. So you know that from this, your ellipse starts from vertex B point and it ends on. 25th division. For this given statement of problem. Okay. Now I am going to join the final curve. The final curve. It is an ellipse. How do we found that it is an ellipse based on the eccentricity value as well as the uptime curve is in this shape. Ellipse shape. That means it starts to diverge first after certain point it converges and it closes. Ellipse is a closed curve. In the case of parabola and the hyperbola are open curves. They will not meet. They start to diverge. Okay. From point D, John.
here lips you will be getting a ellipse this is the ellipse for better visibility for better visibility to you i am using this pink color Pencilo. Okay. See, the, note the third, third statement, third sentence in the problem statement. Name the curve. We know that this curve is a ellipse because it has minor axis. Sorry, major axis and minor axis. It is an ellipse because it is a closed curve and it is in the shape of an ellipse. The next step, draw. tangent and normal to the curve for this curve i need to draw tangent and normal and also for drawing tangent and normal exactly they have given one condition because this tangent and normal of this curve to be drawn by using a point called b i need to use point b p and this point is also located At 60 pi m from the straight line. At 60 pi m from the straight line. This is the line, and from this line, for 60 pi m distance, for 60 pi m distance, for 60 pi m distance. This point name is P. This point name is P. From this point only, I need to draw the tangent or the normal. The in between distance of P and this line is 60 pi m, which is given in the problem. And the condition while marking this P point is to be noted that this P point. Is to be marked exactly at 60 pi m, and you should not mark like this in an inclined manner. It should be perfectly perpendicular. If you join or draw one line which connects this vertical line and the B point, now it should be perpendicular. It should be perpendicular. That is the condition for marking this P point. If they have given, they have not given this statement 65 mm or the condition for marking P point P on the curve, then you can mark anywhere. You can mark P here, 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 or here. It's your choice. But in this problem statement, they have specifically given 65 mm from this direct flex line. So I have marked point B exactly after. 65 mm from this vertical line. Okay. After marking point B, first I am going to draw the tangent. It's very easy, common procedure for all parabola, hyperbola, and ellipse. All procedures are same for drawing the curves, three curves. Okay. First step is after marking point P, join P. And the focus. For better understanding, I am marking, or I am using a different color pen. Different color pen for drawing the tangent or not. Okay, join P and focus first. Join P and focus. Join P and focus. Then 
for this pf for this pf newly created line draw a perpendicular line draw a perpendicular line for this newly created pf line so for marking that so for drawing the perpendicular line you need to place your o circle or protractor on point capital f then mark 90 degree point then after that join f and the 90 degree point and extend this line up to this directrix line it means the directrix line at one area mark that point name is capital q and then now join q and p q and p extend this line this is your tangent line capital q p the tangent 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 okay next is to draw the normal so q p is the baseline and p is the center point place your protractor or o circle on point p like this and then mark 90 degree point then draw or join this 90 degree point and p extend this line this is your normal capital n normal normal capital n okay the whole construction of ellipse is over one thing should be very important after drawing this diagram there should be line variations for convenience purpose for better visibility i have used pens you should not use no pens ink pens ink pens should not be used only pencils that too you should be showing variations in the diagram darkness darkness should be very and the hp pencil should be used for hp pencil is for this one and this one and this one only for drawing three areas or three lines or three parts you should be using hp for all other areas should use h or 2h and in particular these divisions this vertical division should be visible to the person who is drawing the diagram that means these divisions should be only visible to you not to the evaluator or person seeing this diagram scale okay next is to mark this 60 mm diameter because there is some point we have marked by using following
darker vertical line and then draw And they asked us to name the curve. So at this area, oh, sorry. okay it's okay and then this is the 60 focus point and point P is 65 so we need to mark the 65 also of C to F and the 65 is the distance of marking point P to draw the tangent and normal. It is 65. Your arrowhead should be neatly drawn and in order to name in engineering graphics what we do is we will draw two parallel horizontal lines and then the in between distance of these two parallel lines should be 5 mm 5 mm or 0 0.5 centimeter and these two lines should be only visible to the person who is drawing the diagram it should not be visible to any other person here I have drawn it as a visible line because for clear presentation purpose okay i'm using my hb pencil and i'm going to give the name for the curve or i'm writing the name of this curve we know that it is a ellipse so i'm writing ellipse e el L I ellipse. While writing the letters, don't use style letters, only use simple vertical. clear alphabetical letters of upper case don't use smaller case only write upper case letters ellipse that's all all the other curves 
there are three curves in conic sections what we are concentrating one is an ellipse that we know now how to draw it and the remaining two are parabola and hyperbola for those parabola and hyperbola also the same procedures to be followed the only difference is the final answer should not be like this because it is an ellipse it is a closed plane curve so it comes like this in the case of parabola the curve will look like this hyperbola it is also i mean that's all thank you